a minute. With our today's special, you literally can run strips of paper or ribbon through it. Well, what if you just wanted to cut the strips of paper and you want them to be exactly the right width to be able to use our today's special on? Well, that was my challenge. And how is she cutting it? She's cutting it with this. I am so excited to get this back because I'll tell you what, we all need a good paper trimmer. This trims a whole lot more, but let's start with the basics of paper trimmer. The neatest thing about this one is you never have to buy a replacement blade. This is a permanent blade that is self sharpening. And this also comes right along with it, this cute little carry-all bag so you can store it. But if you're on the go, you can take it to go. So Beth rejoins me with my little challenge that I gave her. So Beth, how are we doing on the challenge? Well, I do everything you tell me. <laughs> so <laughs> as soon as we got off air, I printed this cute little Christmas uh, thing right here. Okay. And I'm going to put it in. And right off the bat, I want to talk about the other amazing feature of this. Don's going to come and zoom in. Suzanne, there's an LED light that illuminates your paper from below. So you can see exactly where you want to cut, especially with a pattern like this. So I just take my trimmer, my blade. I'll turn this off so I don't blind everyone. But look at how cleanly that cut. That's this great. is exactly the kind of stuff you can do with this trimmer. So Suzanne and I have known each other a long time, and we love to complain about trimmers, right, Suzanne? Because yes. <laughs> when you have a crafter for a thousand years, you have seven thousand trimmers that aren't very good, right? You spent twenty dollars on this one and fifty dollars on this one, and they don't work. And this one's only good for vellum, and this one's not good for fibrous paper. This is the Cutter Pillar Pro. Guys, I'm cutting two pieces of thick cardstock like a dream. I want you, if you have thought, oh, you know what, I think my trimmer's okay, go get your trimmer right now, and I want you to try to cut the things that I'm going to cut with this trimmer because it is going to rock your world. This is cork board. Look at how wow. beautifully this cuts. And also, Suzanne, look how thin. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep, as they fall right out. Look at how thin thin and these are perfectly straight lines. Why does this work? Because the Cutter Pillar Pro has two blades in it. So there's a rotary blade up here and there's a straight blade down here. And by blade, I can go ahead and run my finger along it, but these two are working together to be self-sharpening. Mm -hmm. So whereas, you know, with our, we've all got those trimmers that it's like, it sits inside this little plastic rack and it's got like a little tip point blade. Yes. And uh, if it one side gets, you know, used a lot, the other side doesn't get used at all. And so it starts to sort of ruin your paper. Yep. You will never have that problem with this. So that was cork board. You've got the Cricut coming up in just a little bit. How hard is it to get a good clean line on vinyl? Suzanne, look at how thinly Ooh, good this is cut in wow. I mean, right? Because you don't want to waste it, right? But yeah. look at how beautiful, look at how thin. Those are perfectly straight lines. Okay. Hey, you know what, um, on. Beth, hang on one second. I just want to show it because I want. Oh I think our camera will show it better. If we can go on top, guys, I want you to see looking down. Here's the other problem. When you're trying to cut, you're always trying to guesstimate where the cut's going to happen. Yeah. Watch what yep. happens. This is one of the brilliant thing about it. It's that light. Okay, now if we go right here, guys, you're going to have to, I'll turn it so you can see it. It creates the perfect line. I can see yep. right there. I'll turn it off again. Again, I'll turn it right there. That that's exactly where I'm going to cut. So if you've got, let's say, a printed paper and you want to cut a very specific pattern out of it, yep. that light is going to tell you that's exactly where the blade's going to make that cut. And there you go, you get the perfect cut every time. I think that's one of the most brilliant features about this. I do too. And what I also think is, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm going from. Um, intricate thin material to thick material because you know your trimmer at home does not do that. So I did vinyl and now I'm cutting glittery craft foam. Wow. And then I go from glitter craft foam to like a fine, almost a newspaper. And look, it does not miss a beat. Your trimmer does not do this, I can guarantee you. And here's the thing, we spent so much time working on our projects. I mean, you've seen all the beautiful projects that have been on air today. How much do you hate it? when you are about to finish a project and you make a final cut, it is the worst <laughs> feeling in the world when you cut and you have that little like fuzzy edge because your blade's not strong enough, right? Yep, because yep. it's not sharp enough. Yep. Suzanne, this is um, cereal board. This is thin chipboard wow. that I am cutting in teeny tiny pieces with this trimmer. Look at all of these different materials that I can cut. And it goes from thin material to thick in seconds with, I don't have to adjust anything. I don't have to hold my breath and stand on one foot to hope that the trimmer works this time. And like you said, Suzanne, this is mulberry paper. 
Look at when was the last time you cut mulberry paper without having all the little fringy stuff on the end? Right. This yeah. is how beautifully this clean this cuts, right? All right? You never have to buy another trimmer again. All right, Miss Beth, I gotta wrap it up. Okay. Thank you so much for an awesome day. I know okay. we're gonna see you later with the today's special. So thanks, baby doll. Thank you, I my just friend. FYI, look too, there's even a little storage case. You can put your paper inside here to store it and all your stuff down in there. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, but Anna Griffin's rejoining me because we have the famous cricket.